Hi, I'm Alden. Welcome back to my channel, Harmonious Twin Flame Union. And uh, I thought it was time for another energy update. Update time. And uh, there is an impending solar storm actually impending. I don't know, it's happening. Maybe it already happened. So. Just uh, wanted you to be aware of that. I don't really know much about solar storms, but uh, I think like it can maybe make like glitches in your GPS and um, stuff like that. But I haven't, <laughs> haven't noticed anything. <laughs> so if you're planning on it, uh, you know, bringing you into harmonious union with your twin flame, um, yeah, good good luck with that one. Um, but anyway. Uh, yeah, the uh, the sun is very uh, powerful energy. It does uh, bring bring us lots of good stuff. I love the sun, uh, and uh, you should too. But uh, if you need to wear sunscreen, then that's okay. <sighs> anyway, wow, what a what a time, huh? The uh, moon. It's a new moon in uh, Aries now. It was in Pisces this morning up until like, I don't know, sometime this morning. And uh, the Pisces new moon, you know, like diving deep into the ocean, the last uh, sign of the zodiacs really like, uh, can, can be a lot of emotional upheaval. And then, uh, then we move with the uh, with the moon going into Aries, and uh, the Aries moon is, you know, really, um, really impassioned, um, and can be uh, quick to act, especially inwardly. Um, so you you can really feel that uh, flame within stoked, your fire being stoked. I'm stoked on my flame. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I have my moon in Aries and it's almost a new moon in my natal birth chart. So uh, extra points for me. We all get extra points. You, you get extra points too. Don't worry. Anyway, um, my cat keeps looking at me. Oh, ow, the claws, the claws. Love you, Luna. Uh, so yeah, Aries, Aries new moon, uh, really exciting, really great time to really um, feel that sacred flame within. And then we also have Mars uh, entering Capricorn today. He's been um, in uh, Sagittarius. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, you know that's that's like kind of adventurous, um, outward oriented, um, spreading, expansive, uh, in action. But, uh, Mars in Capricorn with Saturn in Capricorn, it's like really time to put your foot in the stirrup and, you know, hop your leg on over to the other side, your other leg, you know, one foot in the stirrup and then you get on the horse. And, uh, you know, hopefully you're on a saddle. That would be nice because it make your ride more comfortable. And uh, you're, you're hopping on that horse of your goals and uh, you're ready to ride. You know, bring, uh, bring the action to your goals. It, it could feel really good right now to um, take the next step, whatever that might be. Um, but, and it doesn't, it's like doing the outward thing doesn't even feel outward. It just feels really natural. Um, it's like doing your inner work and you just like kind of go with the next step. Um, and, um, so yeah, it's a really good time for, uh, just having the one step at a time thing, like really go into motion and feeling like it's really uh, taking you somewhere because you're um, you're riding it, you're driving it, um, but you're not you're not controlling. You know, you're going with God. You're co-creating, 
um, but you're feeling the next move and you're taking it. And uh, by the way, that's really sexy to your twin flame too, so added a bonus there. And uh, with that being said, uh, I think I'm going to draw a card for me and you and everybody uh, and your twin flames too. Um, and uh, also Chiron, uh, the wounded healer. Chiron um, is uh, moving into, um, what is it moving into? Well, honestly, I can't remember, but it's moving into another sign. I think, uh, uh, I'm just going to lock this. This is, uh, I want to say it's moving into Aries from um, Pisces, but uh, no, it's not, not the right page. Yes. Sorry, technical difficulties of turning the magazine page here. Um, Chiron is closing out its tour through the fishes. That would be Pisces, yes. So I was right. I love being right. Um, so yeah, this is not an astrologer. I like to use it for, you know, basic, um, astrology stuff. And, uh, so anyway, for the last seven years or so, Chiron has been in Pisces. And it's so interesting. I realized just a couple days ago, I kept on thinking about my time um, when I was in Taiwan for about seven months and then around this time seven years ago I left Taiwan um, to go to India and uh, take you know embark on a very deep healing yoga experience and I was in India for a couple months and I did yoga like basically every day all day and uh, it was awesome and I uh, I just had all of these um, really like detailed memories of um, some moments like when I was in Taiwan and like little things that I kind of realized and how they really uh, brought me to where I am now and I'm like why is this like coming up you know like so it just cut, like really just came to the surface um, you know and what I was seeing and just you know um, in my thoughts and uh, then I went back and I was like oh seven years ago I wonder you know why seven years ago and then I was reading that about um, about Chiron and the wounded healer and um, so it could be really great right now if it hasn't already kind of come into your consciousness maybe what was going on um, seven years ago around now um, and just uh, whatever whatever gifts that brought you into where you're at right now um, can be uh, just it can be really fun to uh, reflect on that and to also help help it heal you you know like every experience is really a gift for you so when you like heal uh, to the truth of that experience you can really receive that gift and um, and you're happy, God's happy, God's always happy, but everyone's happy, you know? Um, so, anyway, um, I'm going to show these one more time. It's a crystal card deck right here. I really love it. It's uh, Jade Skies Eternal Crystals Oracle Cards. Dun, 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 dun. So anyway, um, let's cut these, cut the crap, cut the cards, and we get, ooh, you're like really going to like this. Uh, Zincite. Zin, I, you don't know, I said Zincite before, and then the people at the crystal stores told me they thought it was Zincite, so there you have it. The Zinsight I have is actually like really a small little piece of it and it's um, more like white looking, but I use it to uh, really help um, have like super 
kind of like clarifying um, dreams. So I'll sleep with it just occasionally for like a night or two usually, and then I'll put it away um, for a period of time. Uh, you know, it usually comes up for me, I would say about once a month. Or so sometimes more often and then it's like oh I guess you know like some more healing it's been gonna spend some more time with this one um, but this can like have to do with really like heightening creativity and again I think in this particular instance I see you know this uh, red red version here and it reminds me very much so of um, the planet Mars and Mars moving into Capricorn and um, you know Capricorn being very goal oriented but also like very uh, when you when you're harnessing that creative force very um, creative energy that's really grounding uh, because you're able to bring your creativity into fruition you know into the physical uh, because your your goals really take you into those action-oriented steps and this can really um, help to heighten that creativity and then when you're grounding it and bringing it down you really get that richness that beauty uh, of that divine creativity that you're being uh, called to uh, express however that is for you we all we all express creatively um, so it can also have to do with um, clarifying the, the uh, body and mind, just uh, clarity, a time to check in with yourself on um, habits, so to speak. Like sometimes we really enjoy something and then it's time to just, we're just being called to uh, steer in a new direction. Maybe it's like a food that you eat every day or maybe it's caffeine. I know for me um, every mercury retrograde which is happening on the 22nd or 23rd uh, like this Thursday or Friday of March um, I take a break from drinking caffeinated coffee for three weeks during the retrograde mercury. I feel like it's really nice to slow down my communication because I'm such a communicator um, and you know the, the stimulus of coffee is just um, it is what it is and it's uh, I love coffee I mean I think a lot of us uh, love coffee um, but it's really nice to uh, vibe into whatever it is that you feel like you get from from something let's say it is coffee and just um, allow yourself to kind of be you without like the habitual kind of flow of this thing coming in um, where it's kind of stagnating you because you're you're becoming perhaps dependent on it or um, even even relying on it for pleasure which uh, like when you kind of just like attract things to you and it's like oh it's time for you know really nice coffee you know, it's a foggy morning and I'm having a great time and everything's really great and like this coffee is just like a part of this wonderful experience like that might be really perfect and really divine, but when you're when you're kind of just like that's like the only thing that you've got going for you, you might want to take a look at that um, because you know nothing like like a cup of coffee is gonna bring you your joy. Like that's something that uh, has to be a vibrational match for the joy inside of you. And then you get that coffee and it's really groovy it's really wonderful and there's nothing wrong with with anything and there's nothing wrong with uh you know if you've formed habits or whatever like don't uh, blame yourself don't judge yourself and don't overthink it but it's just um it's just a good time to uh take a look 
and at, you know what you're what you're doing and pay attention to it and just like be discerning because every little thing as you're moving through um, whatever kinds of blocks or upsets into uh, your twin flame harmonious union um, your you know your journey into your divine alignment with yourself there's really no like upset big or small so everything matters and if something is just kind of like nagging you um, to change please pay attention to it and don't ignore it um, because like the little thing could really be leading you towards you know a really big thing or it could just be a little thing and then you know, you address it and you love yourself there and the little thing goes away and then you can pay attention to the bigger thing or whatever it is. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what I have to say about that. And I can also read the um, little booklet info here. It's number 44 as well, so that's really cool. Um, I think it's maybe yeah, the last card in the deck. I mean, it makes sense. It starts with a Z and these are in alphabetical order, so... Um, but 44, it's like, you know, all four corners twice over, uh, really like, to me what I get is like the kind of overlay of the twin flames not merging, okay, we're not merging here, but coming together. Um, and so like, again, stoking that like twin flame uh, in your heart. Uh, so anyways, Insight has shown up for you today to send you a strong message about your physical body. Are you focusing on your physical appearance too much? Do you worry too much about your weight? Or do you need to reconnect with your physical body and get healthier? Only you can decide what applies to you. It's your body after all. You're already aware of what your physical body can and can't handle. You know what forms of exercise you are interested in and the ones that are not for you. Intuitively, you also know what foods and drinks are good for your body. Pay attention to how your body feels after you eat particular foods or have certain drinks. It is time now for you to get back in touch with your physical body and find a healthy balance for yourself in the way that you exercise, eat, drink, and socialize. Zinsight is a powerful crystal which can remove energy blocks. It also helps you to bring out your own personal power, creativity, and physical energy. It is associated with the root chakra. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Rooting on down to... Um, that's important. So, can just go ahead and do a quick little meditation with uh, with the cards. If you want to close your eyes or lower your gaze or if you want to stare at it, uh, I guess you can. No, Luna. Come on. All right. Be peaceful. Luna, please meditate with us. Okay, here we go.
Welcome back to planet Earth. Uh, so yeah, the message I also got from that is that it is safe and uh, okay for you to release things um, from your life and that that allows more to come in. So uh, when we surrender patterns or whatever it may be, uh, it's safe to do that. You're not like giving up anything. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a great week ahead uh, going into the spring equinox. And uh, you can always visit my website at harmoniousTwinFlameUnion.com if you're interested in a personal uh, crystal attunement session with me um, or any of the other services that I offer including coaching and astrological services. Uh, so I hope that you take care and that you enjoyed your time with me, my crystal cards, and my cat.